wave motion. Wave is a disturbance produced in a medium due to the repeated vibrations of the particles of the medium about their equilibrium position. Ripples produced on the surface of water and the disturbance produced in a string tied to a peg on the wall due to its up and down movement are examples of wave motion. Waves are broadly classified as longitudinal waves and transverse waves. A wave which propagates along the direction of vibration of the particles of the medium is called a longitudinal wave. This is how a longitudinal wave propagates. Sound waves are longitudinal in nature. Let us perform an activity to understand the propagation of a longitudinal wave. Connect balls and springs in series as shown here. Push the ball one along the length of the spring. It will compress the spring connected between 1 and 2. The spring will set the ball to oscillate simple harmonically about its mean position. These disturbances are passed on to the other springs which then oscillate one after another. We observe that only the disturbance is transmitted but the balls simply oscillate about their mean position. Let us analyze the movement of the balls. At time t is equal to t by 4 seconds, the ball 1 has maximum displacement to the right and the ball 2 just begins to oscillate. At time t is equal to t by 2 seconds, the first ball returns to its original position and the ball 2 has the maximum displacement to the right and the disturbance is transferred to ball 3. At time t is equal to 3, t by 4 seconds, the ball 1 has maximum displacement to the left. The ball 2 returns to the original position and the ball 3 has maximum displacement to the right and so on. Sound waves also travel in the same manner. Now let us consider the propagation of sound wave through air. When the sound waves travel through air, the air molecules get closer together and further apart alternatively. The regions where the molecules come closer are called compressions. The regions where the molecules move apart are called rarefactions. That is, longitudinal waves propagate in the form of compressions and rarefactions. Transverse wave. A wave which propagates in a direction perpendicular to the direction of vibration of the particles of the medium is called transverse wave. Electromagnetic waves and vibrations in a string of a violin are transverse in nature. Shown here is the formation of transverse waves in a long thin rope. The elevated portions of the string are called the crests and the depressed portions are called the troughs. Transverse waves propagate in the form of crests and troughs. Click on the link provided to know the difference between the transverse wave and the longitudinal wave.